Hey guys, Seelsh Productions here, back with another video. And in this video, I'll be going through how I created this animation. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. Step 1, Blocking. So within Blender, assuming you already have a fully rigged character available, I'm going to go into Pose Mode and change the keying type to Whole Character Selected Bones. After this, we can set the character into position, posing it where we see best fit. This will vary depending on the kind of animation you want, but for me, the first pose is going to be in the air. Then it is only a matter of doing this process over and over again on the key poses only this time. So for example, if you have a character falling, only key the start and end of the fall, as they are the most different points in that particular movement. If you are animating your character on a walk or run cycle, it is best to only key the contact and passing poses. This can vary, however, depending on what kind of animation you're doing on your character. Step two, blocking refined. Now this is the time to refine the animation, so it's gonna take a while, but be patient. So what we're going to do is add in between poses from the main poses that we ju have just created. This gives the animation more detail when we switch to interpolation later on. Step three, B-spline. So now is the time to change the interpolation of the animation, or another way of saying it, uh, the, how the computer interprets the motion in between each keyframe. To change this, we just hit T on the keyboard over the timeline and hit Bezier or whatever you want to change it to. You don't have to change it to Bezier, you can change it to whatever you want depending on the kind of animation style you're uh, looking for. Uh, so step four, B-spline refined. So now we're going to refine the B-spline animation. A good trick is to look at the way the character is moving. You generally want a curve-like follow through between each body part. If you're new to animation, I would highly recommend you search for 12 principles of animation. You can find it on YouTube or on Google, it really doesn't matter. To refine the animation, I'm just going to move around keyframes where I see best fit, and also while doing that, simultaneously move the character into better poses and positions to fit those arc-like curves we talked about earlier. Step five, the sprinkles or the final touches. So after we have finished the animation of the character, you yourself need to decide on what kind of style you want and strengthen that to fit that kind of style you want even more. So for me, the Spider-Verse is the theme I was animating. So I'm going to key every frame in the animation, then delete keys every two frames. And I'm only gonna do this on specific parts as I want there to be a transition between uh, smooth animation and rough animation, or ones and twos, as they say in the animation industry. So I'm going to set the interpolation back to constant. This gives the stop motion look that I was intending for in the Spider-Verse and this, what the people who made the Spider-Verse also used. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Sealish Productions, out.